For more on this, let's bring in Oklahoma Congressman Kevin Hearn, chair of the Republican Study Committee. Mr. Hearn, thank you very much for your time. Uh, give me a read, Kevin. Give me a read. I mean, Jim Jordan, class act, come out for uh, Steve Scalise. Apparently, he's whipping for him. Give me your best, uh, your best read, Kevin. Well, certainly, both men are great friends of mine. Both are great leaders. They spent the last week working, meeting with members of the conference, talking about what their vision going forward was. We had our meeting in closed door session today, no cell phones. And Steve Scalise came out the largest majority vote getter, which by conference rules, we go to the floor now. And Steve is no stranger to whipping votes and to talking to fellow members about what needs to be done to get to 217. We're actively working to help him get there, as many other members are as well. We think it's necessary we get our speakership back into the place it needs to be, get the Republican Party back in business, and get our country back where it needs to be in leading the rest of the world. I see that some of the insurrectionists, that's my word, not yours, but some of the insurrectionists who will remain nameless, but we all know who they are, who stopped out McCarthy, I see they're backing Scalise. So I took some hope in that, because I think the trick is to get this done in the next 24 hours. Is it not, Kevin? It is, and, and certainly that's what uh, Congressman Scalise, uh, Speaker-elect Scalise, is doing right now. Uh, his team is reaching out to, obviously, uh, no one likes to be, uh, didn't, you know, didn't get their winner to cross the finish line, but it's about reaching out now, bringing the conference together. Uh, what we know, there are a small number of people that have expressed their concern about getting to the 217, and I know that the Speaker-elect Scalise is working on that right now, and as well as other people, and you, you heard Congressman Jordan being the, the professional that he is, the, the great congressman he is, the great leader he is, coming out, offering his ability to come out and bring the people together. There were 99 people in conference that supported him, and bringing those to the forefront to get Speaker Scalise uh, in that chair so we can move forward. Well, Jim Jordan is a great patriot and a great man. So is Steve Scalise, for that matter. I mean, I think everybody likes Scalise. I mean, look what he's gone through. They shot him. He's winning his battle against cancer. He certainly is a conservative. His H.R. 1 bill was a masterpiece. I mean, I'm hoping you all can get this done. Uh, Kevin, I don't want to put you on the spot, but is there one particular issue that is hanging up a group of people that has to be resolved? Well, I think the big issue is our spending fight. Uh, we're seeing uh, you know, our federal deficits run over $2 trillion. For the first time in American history, we're borrowing more money uh, than it's taking to actually run our country. All of our discretionary spending, the money it takes to run the government on a day-to-day -day basis, we're borrowing 100-plus percent of that now, which is insane. Uh, the folks that I think are holding out for this, they want to see a plan going forward. I can tell you that you know, I've worked uh, a lot on the budget since I've been here with the Republican Study Committee. I've worked on balancing the budgets, worked on a lot of policy around the spending idea. And, uh, you know, we get Speaker-elect uh, to become the Speaker Scalise. I'm going to be running for the majority leader position to, you know, shore up the policy side on that to get us where we need to go on balancing budgets, getting our appropriation bills done on time so that we're not doing these continuing resolutions time and time again and seeing these huge omnibuses that are keep driving our spending. Larry, what we've done in the last uh, 10 years, we've had nine omnibus and 38 CRs done in the last 10 years. We cannot keep operating that way. It's not good for the American people. It's not good for the economic security of our country going forward. And those are the gravest concerns of the people that are continuing to hold out that want to get answers on that. Well, I agree with you. I agree with you. And Kevin Hearn, we appreciate your time. When you are famous and powerful majority leader or whatever, we hope you'll come back on the show. But we appreciate you today uh, pitching in. Thanks, Larry. Great information.